Welcome, it's Mark Wickersham here, helping the accounting profession master value pricing. And in this video, we're going to look at the value conversation, the process of getting a value-based price. I'm going to take you through the three phases, but first a really important point to make is that you should be having a conversation face-to-face -face with your client. If you want to properly get a value-based price, you need to speak to the client. You can't possibly understand what the client values until you've had that conversation. So let me take you through the three key stages of the conversation. Number one is uncover the value. And we do this by asking questions. We want to ask the questions to understand what is it the client wants, what do they need, what are their pain points, what are the challenges they're facing, what do they want in their life, what are their goals for their business. The better we are at asking questions and understanding what's important to them, the better we become at understanding value and therefore we can build that into A, building the right solution for them, a solution that meets their specific needs, and secondly, getting a better price. So that's step one. We have to uncover the value to find out what they want. Now once we've then done that, and by the way, that might take an entire meeting, I recommend that with brand new clients or big projects, you might make that an entire meeting in itself. I call it the fact find, asking questions. Because when you done, do that properly, you can then go away and reflect and think about phases two and three. Phase two is we have to build the value. So now we understand the client better, we've asked the right questions, we know what their pain points are, what their goals are in life, what they want. We can now build it. And there's two aspects of this. There's firstly building the value in terms of how we build up the package, the proposal, what are we going to do to solve the client's problems? What things can we do? What processes will we go through? What reports do we need to give them? What advice? How can we best help them? And, number, and the second part of that is we then need to make sure that we communicate that with the client. We need to use communication skills to sit down with the client and go through our proposed solution and focus very much not on so much what we're going to do but why we do those things how the client benefits the pain that we're taking away that's the focus we need to make sure we properly spend some time with the client to build the value in their mind because if we don't do that if they don't understand the benefit to them of what we're doing your price will always seem expensive number three once we've done that once you've built up the value the client's now ready to buy. When they're ready to buy, number three is to capture the value. And what we mean by capture the value is we want to get a price that reflects the value to the customer. The more value, the higher the price. That's value pricing. How do we do that? You have to involve the client in the pricing process. You have to have a price conversation with the client. And that means taking them through and giving them some choices, some options, working through the price so they can see how the price is building up. And if, at the end of that process, the price is too high, because we're sat with the client and working with them, we can change things. We can find out which bits of our proposed solution, which of our options are of less value to them. What can we take out? How can we change the package? And we work with the client until they say yes. The mistake we often make in the profession is we, do, we ignore step three because the pricing is uncomfortable. Instead, we put the price in writing and we send it to them through the mail. And very often, because we're out of control of that process, the client looks at the price and says, that's too expensive, and they don't buy. So there are the three phases. We have to uncover the value, build the value, capture the value. If you want more help from me, please click on the links below. I've got some free resources for you. I run a free training program every single month and I also have a Facebook group you can come and ask me questions. If you like this video, please feel free to share it. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.